It is Fatal Reaper today, bringing you guys another video. We are on the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop, and real quick, guys, I'm going to show you that we are on a 120 hertz monitor. So to do this, you're going to click, right click, you're going to go uh, to Display Settings, Advanced Display Settings, and you're going to have this menu. We'll get to Advanced Settings in a minute. First of all, you want to make sure that the uh, you want to extend displays first and then you want to identify them. So after you click the little uh, extend displays, you're going to click identify and you're going to see which screen is which. This will be two, so you can show only on one or on two. In this case, you're going to want to only show on two, which is the external monitor. As you can see here, that was connected to, or it was uh, using the display one, which was the int uh, internal monitor. This is the external. You can see the 120 hertz right here for the refresh rate. So, guys, we are using in these next couple of clips you're going to actually see. Um, I am doing some uh, to actually just show you outside of um, the screen recording. So, now that we do have an external monitor for the HP Pavilion, we can do some screen recording, which helps with things like I just showed you there. But here in these next two clips, you're going to actually see the physical uh, monitor and the laptop. So again, make sure that is set to your whichever display you're using for the external, and make sure that it is on 120 hertz. So here is the external monitor you're seeing right here, and I have it plugged up over here on the HP Pavilion. The HP Pavilion has an HDMI cable, very important to remember, HDMI, and it is in the left corner right here, and you are just going to run that to whatever external monitor you're using. I can go in more depth if you guys don't exactly understand how this works, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave me some comments down below, and I will be, be sure to help you out as quickly as possible. And we are testing GTA 5 here, and you're going to see the full length, and it's going to be on the actual monitor itself of a screen recording. Right now, I'm just kind of showing you guys that it is, in fact, using the external monitor. Okay, that being said, let's get into the main thing. Will, um, the biggest thing of people want to know is, will an external monitor, is, go is it going to increase your FPS and overall performance? First of all, as you can see in GTA in this setting, we do have the graphic settings set to the exact same as my previous video. So if you guys don't know, I've done a GTA test before on the HP Pavilion, and we got had the exact same settings, everything's on very high. This is online, of course. And we got around the exact same settings, 50 to 60 FPS. Now you're probably wondering, a lot of people are like, why are the FPS not higher? Okay, so some games will give you higher FPS with an external monitor, some will not. It really just depends. In this example, we're not seeing much of a frame gain. However, the visual, the visual is what counts. I'm telling you, seeing is believing. You can't really see it till you see it and have a monitor. For those of you that haven't played on this uh, any higher hertz than a 60 hertz monitor, I'm telling you when you upgrade to something like this, just 120 hertz, which is double that, it is ridiculous. Like playing this and actually the visual just looked exactly like my main PC. Looked like my main PC running it, it was just so smooth. Even though the frames are not jacked up or high or even higher than they normally are, it just looks so much more appealing and smoother. That will be for all games and even just in general. For like when you're scrolling through, uh, you know, uh, Google Chrome on YouTube or anything like that, just normal, you know, PC or laptop use, you're going to see a big difference with the hertz because of the refresh rate. But you're not always going to see a frame increase. You will in most cases. However, in this one, as far as GTA goes, you could turn the settings down and you may see a huge frame increase. But as far as the same settings as we had in the previous video, we got a little bit more. I think we dropped more down to the 30s and 40s in the original video, but we did get 50 to 60 in here. But as you can see, the visual, though, again, you can't see it, actually. You'd have to actually see it for yourself looking at the uh, external monitor. But it's just it's just so much more appealing, and it's just such a huge difference. And it's something you can truly, truly tell. And I do ha want to think that it actually has increased my gameplay or performance of gameplay and overall everything like that. Especially being able to, in a sense see entirely better than you normally would especially with the monitor itself because you have to remember this monitor is a curved monitor so you can you know pick from different monitors you don't have to get a curved one this one happens to be about 24 25 inches long compared to the only 15 inches that you're getting with the internal monitor on the HP pavilion so if you guys are wondering that you should get an external monitor I would completely say a hundred percent yes and I'm going to have links down to all of that down in the description so the extra 
um, RAM stick, the laptop itself, the HP Pavilion, and you will see the monitor that I did get. You don't have to get that one, but do make sure these are some disclaimers. So for this monitor, it's actually a 140 hertz monitor. However, you can access the 140 hertz, which is would be using a Display Port. Um, now the HP Pavilion doesn't have a Display Port. You have to use an HDMI. Therefore, um, the HDMI is only limited to 120 hertz. So you do do be careful when you're buying uh, monitors if you're not getting this one specifically. This one does work, 120 hertz. Um, if you're using HDMI, 140 hertz. If you're using a Display Port, now they do make adapters, but I've had issues with adapters in the past where they didn't work and didn't just literally did not want to work and had issues with the screen and everything like that. That just depends. That if you want to try that, come entirely up to you. I will say though, after doing this, this is GTA 5 again. We um, do have high settings, external monitor on the HP Pavilion. Everything down in the description below if you want to know that. I will be doing more games as of right now. I do not have monitor, uh, mo monitor, Modern Warfare downloaded or Fortnite at the moment. Um, there's an uh, there's an update for Fortnite and there, <laughs> Modern, Modern Warfare is not downloaded on my um, external um, hard drive. So I'm going to have to download that again on it. I do have it just on my main PC. But I will get to that. That way we can test those games out on this external monitor as well. So tons more videos coming. We're just going to do a GTA for this um, test in particular and show you guys we do have a monitor external monitor now so I can do all my videos on those um, I won't do it every time so if you guys want to see specific games on the external monitor let me know if you just want to see it on the regular 60 hertz internal monitor already on the laptop we can continue to do those too so just let me know in the comments down below guys and again as always I appreciate you appreciate uh, you joining in be sure to hit that like button and subscribe as always if you enjoyed it do leave me comments down below if you have any questions or whatever you want to see in the future for this external monitor and the laptop and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching